Welcome back. It's time for On the Radar now, when we ask an investing professional what they're looking at in today's markets. We're back again with Brooke Thackeray. He's research analyst at Horizons ETF Management to talk about a key uh, economic indicator here in Canada. That's uh, the rate of unemployment, which is ticking higher. Tomorrow, actually, we're going to get... Uh, New, new jobs uh, numbers for uh, for uh, for Canada in the month of November, and uh, the rate of unemployment is expected to tick up uh, to 5.8 percent from 5.7 in uh, in October. So if that happens, that'll be the fifth increase since April. So we've had a little bit of a trend. April is 5 percent. We're seeing a tick higher. The bottom was last year at 4.9 percent in June, but we're seeing this trend of it going higher. Now it's still low by historical standards. Uh, but we're seeing this trend move higher. And if it continues to move higher, that could be a, a concern. It's just like with companies right now, we're not seeing huge layoffs. We're seeing mm-hmm. a lot of companies trimming their labor forces. We've talked about TD earlier. And so unemployment's not taking big, huge jumps. Mm-hmm. But this is a concerning trend. The, one of the narratives that's out there, and it, we hear it a lot, is that uh, with Canadians... Uh, uh, paying larger mortgage payments as they roll over their mortgages and have to pay more per month on their mortgages. They're, they will be able to spend less of their discretionary income on other things. Uh, that, that could contribute to an economic slowdown. Might this uh, pile on top of that trend? Absolutely. That would be the Canadian version of the doom loop where you know unemployment causes uh, some hardship and the hardship comes back as far as that goes. Uh, right now, we're still not in trouble. You know, we're at the 5.7% or maybe 5.8% coming up. But, you know, if you take a look historically, we can see that the unemployment for Canada going back over the long term. And here's according to this graph here. Mm-hmm. Now, I know there's a big run up that we saw in the recession. It's interesting to see how much of that happened back in the 1990s. I mean, mm-hmm. look how much yeah. unemployment went yeah. up uh, there. But if we take that out, you can see there's really a band of unemployment at bottoming at 6% and then at the top level, 8%, with a few wiggles and exceptions. And obviously, there's the COVID there. But here we are, you know, 5.7%. We're still below that band. So, you know, we're not seeing a a lot of reaction and negativity in the market. This isn't a, been a big, big figure so far. But I just wanted to point out the trend that we're coming back into that band. If mm-hmm. we start get to get back into that band, you know, let's say into the, not, not tomorrow, but let's say we get into the low sixes, uh, you know, and 6.5s, and all of a sudden investors are going to start to question, well, you know, are we really on this path now that mm-hmm. it's going to keep going and perhaps get to the top of the band up to 8%? I'm not, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but we are seeing that trend higher. What uh, are the banks are our top story today. We've talked about the bank results there. They are setting aside, most of them, more money for loans that might not go back, might not be fully repaid. Uh, uh, the rate of unemployment is crucial uh, to the banks, I think, as they assess the macro outlook and the, and the credit environment. Absolutely. I mean, this is one of the assessments that they're making. They're saying, you know, are people going to be able to afford their payments in the future and also unemployment, what's happening with unemployment on a go-forward basis and making the adjustments accordingly? And if we see, uh, you know, that unemployment rate move higher, that's going to come back and put weight on the Canadian banks again to increase the provisions for credit losses once again. So it will go back and forth a little bit uh, as far as that goes. So if we move up fast at this point, then I think the banks are going to have to continue to make those uh, provisions for credit losses. 